She chose him. She told, I told y'all, I, I was like, if y'all remember this, if y'all track down these videos, if y'all watch all the grownish reviews I ever did, I told y'all, I said, you know, if it's going to go a certain way, it should go this way. I, I told, hold on, let me, let me zoom in. I told y'all, I said, you know, Aaron and Zoe are going to be in game. So if they're going to be in game, this is what they have to do. And this is what they did. I got I got I got I got to walk around a little bit because I told y'all I said it's going to happen like this. This is what I told you. I, let me let me take the hood off. I said I'm going to tell you what I said. I said she going to be with she need to choose Luca right now. Luca or Cash cuz we we already knew that Aaron was in game and, and and this episode didn't do nothing but prove that that Aaron is in game, bro. I'm telling y'all it's going to happen. So what they gonna do is season two, cause you know they got renewed for season two. What they gonna do is they gonna have it so the way they're together in season two. Season two, maybe even season three. Maybe it's all gonna be good then. But I'm telling you, this is not gonna be the last we see of Cash. I'm telling you this right now. All everybody watching this right now, this is not the last we're gonna see a cash. And this is a for now thing. It's not forever, okay? It's not forever. Let me walk some more, cause I'm, I, I, I was right. I was right weeks ago. I told y'all I was gonna go like this. She gonna choose Luca this season, or choose Cash, and then you know Aaron gonna be in game. Let's say this. Um, let's say this whole TV show lasts about four seasons. So, so 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 here's how it's gonna go. She she took all season one to choose one. So she chose Luca. Season two, she gonna be with Luca. And then and then they, they, it's gonna start to get rocky. So season three, they gonna break up. Once they break up, that's when Cash gonna come back. But he gonna be in the league and all that. But he gonna see it at a game and you know LA and stuff. But how it's gonna go is that you know they gonna break up, huh? Luca, they gonna break up. And then, you know, when it's finna end, when they all finna graduate, I'm just saying four seasons because, you know, four years of college or whatever. Uh, Aaron gonna be already doing his own thing, I guess. Because, uh, you know, he he uh, a grade over them. But he gonna, he gonna swoop in when she graduate. And that's how it's gonna end. If, it, if, if that's my four-year plan, if this show lasts four seasons. If it lasts four seasons, Endgame is gonna be Aaron all the way. I'm telling y'all that right now. Right now, as I'm staring y'all in the face right now, Aaron and Zoe y'all are in game. They're in game, bro. Now I don't know, I zoomed in too much. But now, let me get you back into the regular setup. Cause man, we got a lot to talk about. Let me intro you right now. It's your boy King Brando. Zoe chose freaking Luca. I told y'all. But yeah, um, let's get to this reaction video. Yeah. Sorry for the bad camera angle there. Uh, I'm sorry, but I had to get it out, and I had to get it out right there. We back in our original setup, and godly, this was, it was another fast-paced episode, but I liked it a lot. I liked the fast-pacedness. I liked the, you know, it kept us guessing because we never had an established thing. Like, there was one side storyline, which I'm going I'm to I'm go over that first, and then I'm going to get to the, the, the thing we've all been waiting for, but... The show went in a fast-paced way. It was good because you never got situated on one thing, on one person. It was always the three dudes, who she going to choose. It was never like, you know, I'm focusing heavy on uh, Cash, focusing heavy on um, Aaron, or focusing heavy on Luca. Like, you never got too much of them at one time. So, it kept you guessing on who was she going to choose, what was she going to do, all this and all that. And the times that we did get of them alone, it was like a three-minute, two-minute uh, thing of them, like, you know, uh, stating a case to uh, her friends, uh, Sky and Jazz, Nomi and Anna. Uh, and I felt like that was a good thing because you never really got situated on one person because you never knew what was going to happen. And the part that I felt uh, it should have been like, I think that... Um, well, no, actually, I liked it. Because I was going to say, I think that Nomi should have um, been advocating for Aaron. And then Anna advocated for um, 
Luca. But I mean, the way that they did it, I I get it, cause you know, uh, Anna she hates Aaron, uh, and Luca and Nomi they don't really hang out that much. But they kind of, you know, they they kind of act a little similar. They give the comedic relief, uh, and then Sky and Jazz athletes with cash, so that makes sense. But let me get to the side story. The side story in this was, uh, and dang, we've been barely seeing Vivek uh, this like last half of the season. But um, the side story in this episode was. Uh, they was trying to get Charlie fired, bro. They was trying to get Charlie fired. He he didn't want to do nothing but watch uh, Narcos or or whatever um, show that is with El Chapo or whatever. Like the dude, he he just wanted to watch some TV. And it, and what ended up happening was they didn't get him fired. Uh, the last scene of the episode was funny. He extended his teaching contract, which I thought was hilarious because Dean Parker tried to take it away from him. But he's like, nah, I'm gonna sign it. Uh, but yeah, uh, we saw a little bit of a vec in this episode, which we could have seen more, you know, so he could have been incorporated in the decision. He was only like, he was a really really small side character. Like, uh, you know, how they had the extras and the stuff. He could have been an extra. Like, he, his his part was that minimal in the decision when he's been like. Uh, uh, he's had character development in this season. So, I mean, well, has he really? Nah, whatever. Uh, but yeah, now to the nitty gritty, to the part that you all been waiting for. I told you. I told you. Like, I really told y'all. I was like, if it's gonna go some way, it needs to go this way. And it feels like it's going that way. We all know, like, we all know that Aaron and Zoe are in game. We know that. Like like that's that's been set up from Blackish. That's been set up from Blackish. But they gotta they gotta have a journey for them to get together. They have to tease us with it like they did in episode two. They have to tease us with the possibility of them being together, with the possibility of her and him, you know, riding off into the sunset or whatever. But they have to give us a journey. They gave you a taste, my my bad. Like my, my uh mentions and stuff is going crazy from the live tweets, man. I mess with y'all for that. Uh but like, they planted seeds in there for when it's going to happen. Because we should all know by now, Aaron and Zoe's in game. So, in, in the in-between, they have to fill it with other people. So, I feel like Luca was the uh, good choice. And then, I feel like they need to bring Cash back. Before, I was not a fan of Cash's character. But, he kind of he kind of won me over a little bit. Because he said he was going to stay another year uh, so the way he could be with Zoe. Which I thought was like, man, bro, you giving up millions to be with her, bro. I mean, I know she worth uh, billions and trillions or whatever. Because, you know, oh my god. But, um, like, that, 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 that really had me feeling for his character. And like, dang, bro, you, you probably do deserve her. You probably, you know, not more than me. But, you know, you deserve her a little. Um, so, that was nice. I feel like we need to see Cash in here not not season two but season three season three we need to see cash in there again we need to see him try to get her back and her miss him like if you like we need another person other than luca and aaron and he's that dude because we've already been established with him or they introduce somebody else um but i feel like this show has been set up for success. It hasn't been set up for failure. This is giving the fans what they want. The fans wanted Luca and uh, Zoe. The fans really wanted them because they already, they, they, I don't know, man. Because you know how when Zoe was with Cash the first time and Aaron was just like messed up. Like, I really feel like this dude is finna be, ooh, depressed, all type of stuff. Uh, but yeah. Let's get into the events that happened now that I gave y'all my little input on it. Uh, so it basically started off with uh, Zoe and Cash. She she curved Cash like from the jump. He was like, you know, I want to talk about us being together. And then he was like, you know, I mean, she was like, um, you know, I'll text you. That was when we really should have knew that it was over with until, you know, he said he would play another year. But you should have knew it was over when she said, I'll text you. Like, I, from that point, I was like, nah, she ain't choosing cash. She had that. It's between Luca and Aaron. And then, um, uh, so she meets up with all of the girls and stuff after, um, Nomi goes to see Luca. Because uh, she smells his weed and stuff, and then that was the funniest part. Cause she was high as a kite. Um, and then Anna, she is in the cafeteria with Aaron, and Aaron told me he gonna steal some microwaves for her. At that point, I knew, like, bro, this is a little pathetic. So she ain't choosing you. So I knew it was gonna be Luca. But I mean, I've been knew that from, from the jump. I knew it was gonna be Luca. Uh, but, um, and then all of them see Zoe, and they're like, you know, we need to talk about cash. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need to talk about Cash. We need to talk about Luca. We need to talk about Aaron. Because Cash talking about he going to um, stay another year for you. 
Aaron getting you Hamilton tickets because you know he like you a lot. And then Luca, th this is the first time we've ever seen him care about anything. Anything at all. This is the first time he's ever cared about anything on the show. And then Zoe. So I feel like with that too, it's like, you know, I, I know what's going to happen. Plus, Luca needed redemption from her dodging and bobbing and weaving uh, while they was on their little date or whatever in the beginning of the season when she was trying to talk to Aaron and Luca. Um, so I feel like he needed that. Aaron, season two, for me, I feel like Aaron is going to be like a little depressed and then he's going to rebound. He's going to get a lot of girls and all that stuff and he's going to change as a person. I feel like he's going he needs to change as a person and I feel like Zoe's going to feel a little bad for it and that's going to kind of make her is going to try to kind of drive a wedge between her and Luca because she's going to start to care a little bit more than she should be because she left him and she's going to start to care a little bit more and then that's going to kind of mess with Luca mental because he don't like Aaron like that. Uh, but yeah, on to the uh, next part. They decided, they told her to decide who she wants to be with with a game of F. Mary Kill. Uh, if y'all don't know what that is, you either sleep with somebody, marry them, or kill them. And they made all their cases for who they wanted Zoe to F, marry, and kill. Which in the end, it really didn't matter because she was going to make the decision based off what she thought. And, um, yeah. And, uh, Nomi, you are hilarious. You're hilarious. She talking about if you get to sleep with one of them, that's the win. When the, which the win should be the marry part. And she's like, oh, no. Who wants to sleep with their own partner? I'm like, what? Really? You're hilarious. But, um, the part that confused me... Uh, Cause I was like live tweeting at the time, and I'm like, oh man, who's she gonna choose? And then I see um, Luca right there, and I'm like, oh man, dang, she ain't choose Luca. But then it goes to her telling Cash and Aaron like she can't be with him, and then them hugging her, and I'm like, oh man, I was right, I was right, I was right. And sorry for spoiling it for my West Coast people. I'm really sorry. I feel like Twitter has ruined y'all experience for this whole season. Like, period, it just ruined y'all experience. Um, but she chose Luca. He's painting a mural of her, I guess, on his wall. And I'm like, oh man, that's nice. That's nice, bro. I knew she was going to choose you. Um, I really want to know y'all thoughts of the episode. I'm going to try to keep this short and get to the point and get to my overall thoughts of it, you know, just so it won't be really long and all that stuff. But, godly, this was a good episode. I like this finale. I, the end was a little bit confusing to me until after, until I actually paid attention and watched it, like, really, because I had to rewind it. But the ending was it was it was it was good to me. Uh, it was a little confusing at first, but once I watched it over, it was good. But I liked this episode a lot. This was this is what a season finale that has a love rhombus, like I said, uh, has a love rhombus should have ended. Cash should have been the long shot, which he's he was the long shot. He didn't get her. He was the first one out. Aaron should have been the uh, one that kind of got the most screen time, cause and like in terms of the, um, telling her that she didn't want him. Uh, because, you know, he's there, he's been there every week. And then Luca, should this was the perfect choice. It was the perfect choice that they should have made. They should not have went with Aaron right now. It's, it was going to be way too early. Um, so this was the perfect choice. I'm really, I'm really psyched for next season. Like, I'm, a, like, in between, like, if we find out when it's coming back, what month is coming back, in between then, I'll make a, um, Another Grownish video just on my overall thoughts of what's going to happen in season two. But season one, I feel like it's been a success. I feel like Freeform is back on the map with a good show. And that's something that they needed. Because after I think Pretty Little Liars went off, they kind of fell off a little bit. Uh, I think in the ratings and all that. But this with this show, I feel like this can breathe new life into Freeform. It could be a great thing for their uh, network. And it's just going to be good. This is going to be a show that's going to stick around for years and years and years. To me, I feel like this can be a six, seven long, six, seven season long show. Uh, depending on how they do it and depending on, you know, if the network wants to continue it. But I know the fans will love it and the fans will want it to keep going. This is going to be a series that the fans will really, really play a big part in how it's going to go. Because uh, he did, King of Bears did the fan service with uh, Luca. And it's all going to pay off because I know Aaron is going to be in game. Aaron is going to be in game unless he leaves the show. If he leaves the show, then he's not going to be in game. But if he don't leave the show, it's going to be him. Man, I love this episode. It was really raw. I really hope that some of the cast watches our Grownish Reviews. I'm going to tweet them. I'm going to be like, do y'all ever watch the Grownish Reviews? And I, hopefully that they do. Um, you know, 
bring bring me out to uh well I don't know man I may be going to college in LA so you never know but if I'm in LA bro if I'm ever in LA and any of the cast wanna hang out bro just hit me up hit me up I will answer bro hit me up I will answer we can hang out we can talk about the show all that but it's been your boy King Brando this is a dope episode great way to end the season like for real make sure that if you're turning to the channel you like this video comment other stuff you want me to react to review other shows other music other you know anything on the internet i'll react to it i'll review it y'all know this already but for the new people gotta get up close and personal with you because y'all know y'all well y'all don't know this but the people who return and know this i do this every time we gotta do this thing called the three clicks easiest thing you ever gonna do you just gonna like this video hit that subscribe button and then you're going to hit them post notifications. Please do that. So when on season two, we can come back stronger than ever, better than ever, like all that. I want to get to the point where we talking to the cast and we doing live streams with the cast after the shows. And it's just going bonkers and going crazy. Like, I really want to get to the point where we can do that as a channel. But, you know, we, we, we growing too. So make sure you do the three clicks, like, subscribe, hit them post notifications. And we're going to be good. You can join the Brando fam. Join the Brando fam. Wonder why I call y'all the fam? Because you're not fans, you're family. I love y'all, man. It's Bean Boy King Brando. Peace, man. Season 2 is going to be lit, G. It's going to be lit.